though it may be easier and cheaper to just take something once a week, some people would rather get into the habit of doing something daily so they don't forget. So how much would you have to take if you wanted to take vitamin B12 once a day rather than once a week? Using the formula we just learned, 1.5 plus 0.01 times the quantity of x minus 1.5 equals 4 to 7, solve for x. All weights, once a day, 250 micrograms or more is all we need. Uh, you can put an extra toothbrush to remind yourself, whatever it takes. The reason we can't absorb more than about 1.5 at a time directly through our receptors is that they get filled up. But it only takes them about 46 hours to unload their cargo into the body and are back in business. So if we got B12 three times a day, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we could absorb 1.5 each time and end up with 4.5 at the end of the day, which is all we need. And these kind of doses we can get from fortified foods. The so-called daily value on nutrition facts labels for B12 is 6 micrograms. So as long as each serving provides 25% of our daily value, then we can eat a serving of B12-fortified foods at every meal, and we wouldn't have to take supplements at all. So, for example, there's vitamin B12-fortified nutritional yeast. A half teaspoon counts as a serving, so you could sprinkle that on uh, your meals, but that'd be like a dollar a week, as opposed to just a few pennies a week for B12 supplements. Uh, but whichever path you choose, and there's lots of various fortified B12 uh, fortified foods out there, uh, these are not just recommendations for people eating plant-based diets. They're recommendations for anyone who wants a cholesterol-free source of vitamin B12.